Hey kids, welcome to Unifive Lesson 3, Column Major Traversals, Exercise Number 3. A sales analyst wants to find the total sales for top selling video games. Well, you have the following values. We have a bunch of values here, where each row represents North America, European, Japanese, and other. Each column represents Wii Sports. Super Mario Brothers, Mario Kart, Wii Sports Resort, and Pokemon Red and Blue. Kind of disappointed there's no Fortnite on there, but we'll talk about that some other time. In GameSales.java, we're going to write the method total sales to return a string containing the total sales for each game. Then in my console, we're going to call the total sales method and print the results. Take a look at our code. We have our data in a 2D array right here. We're instantiating a new object, best sellers. It's from the game sales class. And then a place to call our total sell method. In game sales, we have our 2D array. We have our constructor taking that 2D array and a space to write total sales. And how are we going to write this? what's well, going to be exactly like the last two exercises, except we're going to switch the array name to sales. It means if you get lost or confused, you could look back at either of those lessons and it'll show you exactly what you need to do. First thing we need to create a variable to store our results to return. So I'm going to make a string result. And right now that's just going to be empty. And if that's what we want to return, we have to tell it that's what we want to return. So we're going to do result down here. Now we're going to do our nested for loop. So for, we got our parentheses. This is going to be outer for, and we want to do a column major. So int column equals zero as long as column is less than which array are we looking through the cells we're in a column so we want our index there for our length and as long as we are less than that array length we're going to go through the column we're going to take care of what happens inside each of these loops in just one second. Let's get our inner loop first. So let's go for our parentheses. This is going to be inner four. And we just want to go through the row now. So our row is equal to zero. As long as the row is less than the sales dot length. We're going to go through the rows array. And what we're doing here is we're getting the total cells for everything. So we want to look through everything as we go along. What we want to do is go through each column and add them up. That means at the end of each column, I probably want to get the sum. And I probably want a variable inside the inner loop that will just add the results to each other. What would that look like? Well, on the outside, I just want to get a sum. So we can just make a variable called sum, set it equal to zero. And every time the inner loop adds up, I want it to add to sum. So we're going to come down here and say sum is just going to be plus equal to whatever sales we're at at that row and column. Don't forget your semicolon. Well, that's it. That's all we need to do. We need to tell what we want to return as well. So we're going to do results are going to be a plus equal. And we'll say total sales plus sum. And then we'll do our escape character to get us to the next line. Oops. Missed that one there. Remember, you can. Highlight, quote, same thing. Results get returned there. 
And this is our end of class. This method should go through each column. At the end of each column, it'll get a sum, return that to our variable sum. As we go through the column, it's just adding each item to the next. That's it. And then we're just returning the results, which are the total cells of sum. We still have to go to my console and call this method. Let's go to my console. And down here, we're going to do system.out.println. And the object we're calling from, best sellers. And the total sales method is what we want to run. When I hit run, I should get one, two, three, four, five different values that are the total sales for each of these games. Well, let's see if we're right. Well, it looks like we got an error. Line 29, let's go back to game sales. Uh, should be result, not results. That looks like our only error. Let's clear the console. Well, let's run one more time. And we have one, two, three, four, five different values for each of the games. I assume this represents the millions. So Wii Sports has 82 million copies sold. Super Mario Brothers is 40. Mario Kart 35. Wii Sports 33. Pokemon all the way down at 31. Looks like our code ran pretty good. Key takeaway from this lesson again is just further understanding what a column major traversal is and how we use 2D arrays. And for this exercise, we just added up the scores in each column. Hopefully this video helped you understand column major traversals a little better. As always, kids, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. See you later, kids. Bye.